Hi, I'm Kevin Eikenberry, and I'm here to help you reach your potential as a leader and a human being. Welcome to Remarkable TV. Today, we're talking about the decision-making trade-off. Are you ready? Let's get started. Pretty much every time I teach a group of leaders, uh, the topic of decision making comes up and the question comes up, well, what's the best way to make decisions in a group? What should my role as a leader be? Should I be making the decision? Should I be bringing the group in? How should I do it? What should I be considering? And the short answer to the question is always this. It depends. I, I sometimes joke that that is the classic consultant answer. It depends. Um, and But in this case, it really does apply because there's some other things we need to know before we can decide because there's more than one way to make a good decision and a good decision being one that is not only a, a, a valued decision, the right decision, a workable decision, but also one where you have people that are willing to go along with that decision when we're thinking about this in a group, right? So the answer is, what's the best way? The answer to the question of what's the best way to make a decision is, it depends. Well, what does it depend on? Well, it's a trade-off, as the title of this video might have given you a hint to, and that trade-off is time versus commitment. Right? So we're be we need to balance how much time do we have to make the decision and how much commitment do we need from our folks. And that's the trade-off we have to consider before we decide how we're going to do it. Are we just going to make the decision? Or we're going to bring the group together or what are we going to do? So let's talk about how we balance that trade-off, shall we? First, question. All five are questions of how to balance this. Number one is, how much time do you have? Well, you know, if we were right now, today, if there were flames in this building, we don't need to have a meeting to decide how to get out. Someone needs to say, there's the door, let's go. And so how much time do you have has a lot to do with this. If you've got a lot of time, you might want to do, you might be, you have some more options than you might have if time is short. So balancing the trade-off includes asking the question, how much time do we have or how much time do we need? Second question is, how much commitment do you need? Well, we could always say, well, how much we would like to have people to be very committed, very bought in, very uh, engaged, very in agreement with the decision. All those are words related here. And we could say, well, that's great. And I would say, yeah, everything else being equal, I'd like to have lots of commitment. Everyone in 100% agreement. But we're not always going to get there, and we don't even really always need it. Like, if we're leaving the building because of the fire, all we, everyone just needs to know, let's go. Like there are lots of, there may be decisions where people are willing to go along because it doesn't really matter. Where are we going to lunch? Well, let's eat. And so it doesn't really matter which one we pick, right? Uh, are we gonna are we gonna make our logo blue or are we gonna make it orange? Well, I don't really care, and everyone will go along at the end. And and the level of commitment, while we'd love for everyone to say I'm in for orange, it may be fine as long as we're. I'm just giving you some simple kinds of examples. And the simpler they are, the more, we'll get to that in a second. Okay, number three, question number three is how many people? How many people are involved? How many people need to be, have that level of commitment? The bigger the group, the more time it will take if you're going to engage others. So that takes us back to the, how much time do we have? If we have a, a, a decent amount of time, if we're not in an urgent situation and we've got a lot of people and we want to build more uh, commitment, then we probably want to get more involvement in the decision. Doesn't that make sense? Question number four is how complex? How complex is the decision? If it's a decision that maybe not one person like you as the boss has all the information, the complexity might say, I need to get other people involved, getting them involved will perhaps raise the commitment, but will also help us get to a better decision. How complex is it? See, a simple decision will probably get more commitment as well, won't it? Than one that's more complex where people may be thinking about it differently, have different perspectives. So how complex is the decision? And then the last question I would encourage you to ask is the question of how much trust, how much trust exists on your team? How much do people trust you? Because here's the thing, the higher the levels of trust, the more commitment you will get instantly, even if there's less people involved. Because people say, well, listen, I trust Marissa, so Marissa's decision is fine with me. I value her opinion. I think she knows what she's talking about. I trust Marissa. So if Marissa says that's what we're going to do, then I'm in. Makes sense. But if I look at Marissa askance every time I think about her, then that's then any decision she makes is going to be, I'm, there's going to be less commitment from me. So here's the thing. The more trust you have, the more you can do things faster and still gain the commitment that you might need. It's pretty exciting stuff. Of course, the, the flip side is also true. If trust is low amongst the team or between you and the team, 
I mean, it's going to take longer to get any decision made and have any amount of commitment at all. So we've been talking about the decision-making trade-off. The trade-off about how you decide has an awful lot to do with how much time you have and how much commitment you need. And so if you'll think about those two things, it puts you in a much better position to make decisions that will not only be better decisions, but will be decisions that will be accepted and embraced by your team. Let me close with today's tweet. When deciding how to decide, think about how much time you have and how much commitment to the decision you need. Every week, right here, we do another one of these. Do you know that this is the 243rd time that we've recorded Remarkable TV? Which means you could binge. You could go back and watch a whole bunch. But even if you're like, man, I ain't gonna do that, um, you could watch a new one every week. You could start with this one and you could watch a new one every single week. All you gotta do is subscribe to be reminded. And you can do that with the information right here. And if you do, we'll see you next week. But whether you do or whether you don't, I'll be back next week with another episode of Remarkable TV.